Yeah, so how about we discretize it uh, with yet another scheme, right? What if we uh, approximate this with delta u instead of i and i minus 1? How about i plus 1 and i? Oh, it's delta x anyway, right? How about that? Okay, so if I go to my code, what do I need to change? Instead of u left, I have to compute a u right, right? And what is my u right? I would say my u right for the first grid point is u at 2, right? I mean, when I'm at u1, my right is u2. And then it goes all the way to end. And at the very end, I have to do something different. If, I ha if I'm already at the very right hand side, I want to look at what is further on my right. What is it? You go back, right? So it's u1. All right. So instead of saying u minus ul, I have ur minus u divided by dx. So let's see if that works. Well, I have to close it and uh, I have to plot uh, x and uh, u0. And uh, well, and just plot it as lines. So that's my initial. Uh, solution which is also my should be my analytical solution right and then I run this whole thing and equal to 10,000 is killing it but like it's uh, should finish okay let's hold on and plot this now it works All right, but uh, what if I make A positive again? If I make A positive again, run it. What do you think? What? Wait, wait, wait. what did I do? Uh, I should continue. Uh, somehow I must press the button or something. Okay, and uh, 10 to the 30. And uh, 306 again. So, looks like if I approximate the derivative by looking towards the left, I can only deal with the case when the solution is moving towards the right. If I discretize the, uh, the spatial derivative by looking towards the right, I can only solve the equation when the solution is moving towards the left. That's something we see pretty interesting right in space and that's actually a very important uh, stability related phenomenon in discretizing just the, the first order derivative the concept is called the upwinding you have to use a discretization that looks towards the upwind direction so think of what is the upwind direction if the solution moves towards the right it's as if there is a wing that blows the solution towards the right right and I need to choose a discretization that looks upwind. Okay. And on the other hand, if the solution is blown towards the left, the upwind direction is the right, then I have to choose a, a discretization that uh, looks towards the right. All right. So that's one of the first things we see in finite difference is that, okay, we know how to deal with it. Right and uh, 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 before we end the lecture, let's just uh, do a very simple thing. Let's do u r minus u l divided by two delta x. We know that's a second order scheme, right? And let's try and see how this one works. So we run this. Uh, should also take pretty long. Seems it's actually taking even longer than our first order scheme, right? Well, let me actually kill it and uh, run it with uh, a thousand because uh, it's uh, taking a lot longer. So when we plot this, 
this is our solution. Okay, second order scheme. We get a solution that uh, seems pretty crazy, right? So let's get back next lecture and uh, look at uh, why all of this happens, right? So we have uh, uh, derived uh, first order scheme, two first order schemes and uh, second order scheme. And we implemented them and uh, they all exhibit a phenomenon that uh, doesn't seem to uh, be similar to what we get in ODEs, right? And uh, it turns out the stability property of PDEs when you approximate them has its own uh, intricate things that we need to look carefully into. All right, I'll see you next Monday.